everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have a pattern design for Thanksgiving 2020. But before I get into that, I got two things to share with you. Number one, I want to say thank you once again to Jason Edwardson for the amazing Artisan Power intro he made. If you guys would like a custom intro like he's doing for me, I will leave a link to his page down in the description box below. It's an Instagram page. You can go over there, follow him, interact with him. He also does some scroll saw work, so that's awesome. Second thing I want to share with you guys, I did get the scroll saw greased. I used Awesome Wood Things um, scroll saw maintenance video. He done a DeWalt DW788 scroll saw, but since those two scroll saws are so similar, it worked exactly for my Delta. 4694 scroll saw. I will also leave a link down in the description box below to the video that I used to grease the scroll saw. I'm sure you guys seen the pictures of where I took it apart and put it back together over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. But now today's project, again, is a Thanksgiving themed project designed by Steve Good, and it has Happy Thanksgiving with some fall leaves. And the material we're going to be using is half inch dark walnut. I think this color will really pop once the clear coat is added. And the reason I picked this project for a Thanksgiving project is because of the several interior cuts that it's got. And I think that will just be a great project. And this will be a great project to get me more familiar with raising and lowering the arm and locking it in place for interior cuts. And just getting me more familiar with the new scroll saw. But like I said, it's designed by Steve Good to celebrate Thanksgiving. It is right around the corner. It will be here before you know it. So right now what we're going to do is head over to the drill press, drill all of our pilot holes, and come back and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we are going to take a drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes needed for internal cutting on this project. And it has quite a few, and I picked this project with a lot of small interior cuts to get familiar with the new feature of being able to raise and lower the arm on the new scroll saw when doing interior cuts and threading the blade through the pilot holes and all. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting through the dark walnut really well. The pattern as I said, is designed by Steve Good, and if you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at his website at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in the free pattern catalog. Again, learning how to get in a rhythm, doing all of the pilot holes and being able to raise and lower the arm. I can say there was a difference in the scroll saw after I did take it apart and grease it and it was just a major improvement. If you guys like what you're seeing I highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate that. Doing our final interior cut here. A lot of tight turns, but I took my time with it with the leaves. And we're going to begin the final cut here to release the piece from the wood. Then all of the scroll work will be done and we'll take it over to the workbench and remove the pattern and the waste wood. And take it over to the palm sander with 100 grit sandpaper. And sand it nice and smooth both front and back. And I'll do a little touch up sanding off camera. And I'm going to put the piece on a wire and take it outside and give it a few coats of clear coat and I let that dry outside in the sun and 
and I came back and removed it from the wire and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Happy Thanksgiving piece. It came out real great. It scrolled exceptionally well. The words Happy Thanksgiving and then the leaves in the center came out nice and crisp. It took me around an hour to scroll this because I'm still getting used to the blade change system, being able to raise and lower the arm during interior cut changes and then threading the blade through and dropping the arm back down. I'm sure I will pick up speed and be able to knock out projects a lot quicker once I really get used to and get settled into using that system as opposed to just the tensioning system that was a lever like this and this and that motion on the 16 inch scroll saw. But I'm really happy with this project. The clear coat, which I was very generous with because I plan on putting a twine through this or some string. Um, more likely twine. I don't have none out here in the workshop or I do it and then hanging this on the door or in a window somewhere but I was really generous with the clear coat and I don't know why for some reason down at the bottom in the word Thanksgiving it got darker than everywhere else. It might have just been a knot in the wood or something. I'm not really sure but I think it turned out real good. I'm really happy with it and a great way to start getting used to that new blade change system on the Delta scroll saw. You guys may be wondering why I'm doing my Thanksgiving video so early on in November and that is because I plan to take at least a two week break from YouTube so I can start getting um, the shop ready for Christmas. I'm sure I'm going to be getting some custom orders. Um, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. The weather's going to start turning cooler. I got to get wood in here for the wood stove to make sure it's all dried out properly. You know just a bunch of things going on and then I want to decorate the shop for Christmas and also with Christmas I'm sure with the custom orders coming in I'll need to take time to fill all of those orders and make sure I get them back to everyone in a timely manner. That's why I wanted to go on and do the Thanksgiving project now and let you guys know about the two week break, at least a two week break, and then I will be back with some Christmas videos, the shop will be decorated, and we'll just keep on having a good time. Wherever you're at in the world, I hope you all have a happy and safe Thanksgiving 2020, given all the situations we're in this year, in the year 2020, I hope you all have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, and that's about all for this one, and remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.